Danny, we finally got the, uh, the multi-faith and quiet room open today. How proud are you to have been leading this project? Yeah, really proud. It's um, it's really surreal to actually um, be here now and opening the room. And, you know, it's been a project that we've been working on now for a good sort of six months, seven months. From when we signed the charter last year, it was something that we wanted to do. Um, but I'm extremely proud that we we're here today. I think it just goes to show that Dulwich Hamlet is a football club that is forward thinking. Um, we're a football club that is doing groundbreaking work, I think. Um, and we want to continue to support all of those in our community, um, no matter what background they come from um, and no matter you know, who they are. It's um, our heartfelt gratitude to Dulwich Hamlet, Millsy, yourself, Gavin, Mill, Claire, everyone in the team. Um, just, just literally blown away by everything that you've done. Um, you'll see the benefits of it throughout the season when you get not just uh, Muslim players for Dalit Hamlet but away team visiting and, and the fans that will be here and then once this goes out on social media um, it, it's just going to, I know it's going to, the like button will be, will be tapped away. Um, yeah, it's, it's starting to get better. Um, obviously the work in the gym, they've done you know, massive, massive uh, bits of work in order to try and promote you know, the, the need for these kind of rooms and these kind of facilities. Um, I'd, I'd still say that this is probably the biggest one I've been to uh, across like I'm talking about the professional game as well so uh, kudos kudos to the club uh, but yeah it's starting to get there and, and um, yeah obviously faith is a protected characteristic it's something that obviously needs to be respected and, and uh, yeah and just it makes it makes it for a more inclusive environment it's, it's getting more common now I think since we started the work it's more getting common now but I think the space and the size we've got at Dalich Hamlet for a non-league club is, is more amazing I think it's the biggest prayer room I, I could, I could on my heart, say it's the biggest prayer room I've seen in football, probably in sport, uh, in terms of size and facilities as well. Um, so again, kudos to to Dalek Chamber. Football is all about community. You can't do do things on your own. Um, and you know, I want to just say a massive thank you for all those that have supported. So in the gym, who have been guiding us and advising us, um, the Football Supporters Association, Fans for Diversity, who helped with with funding for for getting the room fit for purpose. Um, kick it out for their advice and, and, and their support and guidance as well. Obviously, the football club, uh, Dulwich, um, for, for supporting this initiative in their first place. Um, without that, we wouldn't be able to get this off the ground full stop. Um, so there's loads of different people that have been a part of this and I'm just extremely proud that we've got so many friends in, in the game. We, as Kick It Out, we look to try and set examples and obviously Dulwich have taken the initiative to do that from an inclusion perspective as well across all strands of you know uh, inclusion. Um, so yeah, like, I think clubs are competitive in nature just naturally uh, on the pitch, so off the pitch you like to think that, that, you know, that same energy can be applied. So whenever I go to games, especially in the winter time because the prayer times are together, uh, there's about three prayers for a 3 p.m. kickoff. Uh, when I go before I go to a game, I think about okay, is it worth it me going to a game to sacrifice my prayers? And I'm praying in a car park or praying after the game and praying late. But now I can literally come to the Dulwich Hamlet game and I can literally just watch the game half time, come downstairs, do my prayers, go upstairs and watch the Dulwich Hamlet win. You know, it's just awesome. It's massive um, to, to be here and, um, and see, like, you know, Danny's worked with us. He's on our player advisory and to see the work that he's done from an inclusion perspective, it is massive. And for the community as well, to know that you're coming to the world's most inclusive club and, and, and having a faith room or a place to practice your faith, it, it, it's massive. I hope that a lot of clubs will be looking at this and say, you know what, we're going to be next and we're going to take the Dallas Hamlet lead. Uh, 100% it's going to be a catalyst for a lot of, not just in football, we, get, we work across sport and cricket, rugby league, and I'm sure this will be a catalyst for that as well. And if you look at the, the demographics as well, the region and the area, you know, people might be more inclined to come to the club and say, oh, you know what, I'm, 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 I, can be, I can be welcomed here and I can, you know, it's not conflicting with my faith and I can still practice my, you know, my duties as a, as a, as a practicing person of, of any faith and to come here and, 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 and do so. So, yeah, it's massive. Anyone who wants to use the, the space to either pray or have that time for reflection is, is more than welcome to use the room and also from that quiet room perspective any fans that uh, or, or young children that may um, have any sort of neurodiversity autism sensory issues uh, this is a space where they can come and, and find that safe space and, and that quiet space where they can where they can be on match days um, or any other day so we're re I'm really proud and you know hopefully we can continue to do some great work in the space